In this lesson, we will be looking at inverse properties of exponential and logarithmic functions and how that will help us solve equations. In this first example, we want to solve the equation 3 times e to the x power is equal to 25. The property we'll use this time is that the log of any base of a to the x power is equal to x. What this really means is that if you take the log where the base of the logarithm is the same thing as the base of your exponent, everything cancels out and you're just left with the exponent. So this time we know that the log base e of e to the x will be equal to x. And remember that the log base e is just really the natural log. So if you take the natural log of e to some power, that cancels and you're just left with an x. So to do that in this case, remember whenever you solve an equation, you're trying to isolate your variable x. And in order to use this log property, we need to isolate the entire exponential term, which is the e to the x power. So to do that, we can just divide both sides of the equation by 3. And so it'll cancel there. On the left side, we're just left with e to the x. And on the right side, we're going to have 25 thirds. And so using our property now, if we take the natural log of both sides of the equation, and remember, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other, we have the natural log of e to the x equals the natural log of 25 thirds. Well, on the left side, that cancels. And so we're just left with x is equal to the natural log of 25 thirds. And if you wanted to see that in decimal form, you can just type that into your calculator. This example is very similar. We have 10 times e to the negative 0.05x is equal to 2. So again, to solve for x, we need to get x by itself. But to get x by itself, we need to get the entire exponential term by itself. So we need to first divide both sides of this equation by 10. So the left side, that cancels. And we're just left with e to the negative 0.05x is equal to 2 tenths, or 0 0.2. Now to get rid of the e, we can take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of e to the negative 0.05x power is equal to the natural log of 0 0.2. And on the left side, that cancels. And so on the left side, we're just left with a negative 0.05x is equal to the right side, which is still just the natural log of 0 0.2. And then the last step, to get x by itself, you have to divide both sides by that negative 0 0.05. So x equals the natural log of 0 0.2 divided by a negative 0 0.05. In this example, we have 10 to the x power is equal to 500. We can use the same property, we just aren't using e anymore. So we don't, want to, we don't need to use the natural log. Instead, we know that the common logarithm, which we normally would write as just the log, it's a base 10. So if you take the common logarithm of 10 to an x power, and again, because that common logarithm has a base 10, it will cancel out with the 10 and you're just left with x. So if we look at this example, since it's 10 to the x power, we can take the common logarithm and we have to do it to both sides. On the left side, the log and the 10 cancel. So on the left side, you're just left with x. And on the right side, you're just left with the log, the common log, of 500. And again, the common logarithm of 500, you can just type that into your calculator. In this example, we have 4 times 1.03 to the x power is equal to 20. Now, in this example, 
the base of our exponent is this 1.03 and it, it's it's not e and it's not 10 which means we can't use the same property that we were using before instead we have a property that if you take the log and it doesn't matter what the base is so the log base a of any number to the x power or to any power really the property says we can take this x and sort of pull it out front and think of it just as multiplication so x multiplied by that same log base a and now just of the nth power so this is the property we're going to use this time uh, now in order to do this we first again we need to move that 4 to both to the other side of the equation so divide both sides by 4 uh, cancel so you're left with 1.03 to the x power is equal to 20 over 4 which is just going to be 5 so my next step since this 1.03 again is not 10 and it's not e I'll just go ahead and use the common logarithm so we have the log of 1.03 to the x power is equal to the common logarithm of just a 5. We use that property. I can take this x and pull it all the way out front and put it in the front as a multiplication. So we're going to have x times the log of 1.03 and it will be equal to the log of 5. Now this log of 1.03 is just a number. We can put it in our calculator if I want. It's just a number, so it's a number times x. And to get x by itself, you divide. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by this log of 1.03. On the left side it cancels, so we're left with x is equal to the log of 5 divided by the log of 1.03. Alright, this time we have a logarithmic equation. We have the natural log of the quantity x plus 3 is equal to 1 and a half. So how do we go about solving a logarithmic equation? And we have a, a, a third property we're going to use. And that tells me if you have the log of some base say of x so if you have the log base a of x if you think of this entire logarithm as the exponent of base a so the key it has to be base a the base of the exponent has to be the same as the base of your logarithm if you do that everything cancels and you're just left with x so if we look at the example of the natural log of the quantity x plus 3 what's the base of a natural log? It's e. So we need to think of the entire left side as the natural log of x plus 3 as an exponent where its base is e. Now remember whatever you do to the left side of the equation you also have to do to the right side which means this one and a half is also an exponent of e. On the left side the e and the natural log cancel so all we're left with on the left side is x plus 3 and on the right side we have e to the 1.5 power and again that's just a number you can do on your calculator to get x by itself we subtract 3 from both sides so x will be e to the 1.5 power minus 3 Here's another example using a logarithmic equation. We have 4 plus 1 and a half times the log of the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 7. Uh, and again, solving an equation, you want to isolate your variable, which the variable this time is inside the logarithm, so we have to get the logarithm by itself. So the first thing we need to do is subtract 4 from both sides. So that will leave me with 1.5 times the log of the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 3. Then we have to divide both sides by the 1 and a half to get finally the log by itself. Uh, so on the left side we're left with the log of x minus 1 
and on the right side we're going to be left with just a 2. To get rid of the log, we need to think about its base. Since the base is not shown, we can assume it's the common logarithm, so base 10. So to get rid of a log base 10, think of that log base 10 as the exponent of a base 10. So you have 10 to the entire power of log base 10 of x minus 1. And you do the same thing on the right side. It's going to be 10 now to the second power. On the left side, everything cancels. So the 10 and the log base 10. So you're just left with x minus 1. And on the right side, you have 10 squared, which is actually just 100. So x equals 101.